Clement's homebrew, coming at ya with a beer review. That's right, so today we've got another one that our buddy Jim sent our way, and we've got Beer Dog with us, our brew dog. Hey, Rusty. He oh, came I, oh, thirsty yeah, today. He did come thirsty. So here we go. Now, this character might be familiar. <laughs> Great Notion, this is super ripe. That's right, Great Notion out of Portland, Oregon. Tell me a little about this, Christian. Yeah, well, it's it's Great Notion, so if you don't know them, you should research them. But uh, it's uh, the Super Ripe is a bigger, badder version of Ripe. And you've heard from Dad and I, we love it, it's delicious. Uh, it's double dry hopped with massive amounts of Citra hops and a second edition of Vic Secret hops from Australia. So uh, we had some Vic Secret in another yeah. beer recently. Yeah, and so the uh, the normal ripe is just Citra hops, so it's gonna add some pizzazz or yeah. something to it. Yeah, Vic Secret will add some other tropical things, including like some passion fruit and guava type characters to it. So uh, as long with citrus and mango type things. Uh, so this should be a fun beer. It's about nine percent ABV, so. And uh, we'll see if it's a hazy beer or not. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll get it cracked open. All right, we left a little on the deck for the dog. Ooh. He's happy. It is a hazy beer. They, they make mostly any IPA. So Christian, we got to rate as an any IPA. Yeah, it's kind of like the thing is a hazy beer over a great notion, but that's how they get so much flavor packed into it. Oh my god, so, and the nose impact was immediate. Yeah, it's really good. The Citra is the big shiner, which is what Ripe's all about. That yes. is the primary shine right there is a Citra. It just jumps out of the beer oh literally <laughs> into your nose. Oh yeah. Now that time I got all kinds of things, but I got a super blast of passion fruit on that big yeah. nose full. Like, and, and it was almost overripe, which they make overripe, but it was super ripe. Uh, so I'm getting like pineapple. I'm getting, as I said, the passion fruit. I'm getting kicks of um, uh, uh, citrus on there as well, though. Uh, hint of lemon with a, a little pinch of orange and a pinch of grapefruit. But what else? I mean, there's more on there, right? Well, let's... If any of you have been to Hawaii or, like, maybe Mexico and ever had, like, a fruit salad from them, boom, that's what you're getting right here. You really are. That's you're a getting, good like, description. Uh, just uh, mango, maybe a little papaya. Mm. You know I love star fruit in there. I also though got just a hint of some melon on it for sure. Um, but it, it's more of like a, a honeydew melon. It's not a cantaloupe. Yes, yeah, nice and soft, sweet. But wow, I liked I liked your star fruit thing, you know, and it's kind of impacted you like starburst. Um, but it's all hops. This isn't anything added in, no fruits or anything. It's just it smells wonderful. Of course, you still get the the hint of resin, the, yeah. the hoppiness, uh, a little pine in there. Definitely that citra quality. Yes. I don't know. There's much more to say. You know, just that little bit of resin, maybe a hint of some dankness. But man, it is. It's got good legs. It's all there. I mean, <laughs> all right, well, cheers to this. Do it. Cheers. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Dang. It's, it's, it's potent and in your face. Not like abusively, but I mean, it's just full flavor. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. And what's interesting, there's a lot of sweetness, but I get, uh, as opposed to ripe, I'm getting less of the dank qualities on this right now. And I get more of a citrus bitterness on it. Yes, that's what I was just about to say. It almost in a sense, uh, Dan and I had said rind before, but it's not quite there. It's almost no. just essence of zest. Like when you scrape the yep. outside of the of the orange or the more grapefruit now is what I'm getting. But it's like a, it's got that hint of citrus but it's not too sour, but it's not really sweet. I kind of said this on one other one. It's like a, it's like you've squeezed out a lot of it and then you also kind of scraped into the bottom of it where you're getting a little bit of pulp and a little bit of, of yeah. the zest or rind, if you will, too. So it's, it's a soft rind quality. It's got that cloudy taste. More like flour than oats to me, mm -hmm. almost. 
I mean, really, I just feel like I like I could chew this, and there'd be, just, oh, be yeah. little little packets of uh, oranges and grapefruit in there. That you squeeze them, and it just boom, bursts with flavor. Super satisfying. Um, I don't know what else to say. I think everything that we said in the in the description on the nose is, for the most part, there in the taste. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of pineapple, that star fruity type quality. The passion fruit's not as strong in the taste as in the nose. It, there's some there. There still may be just a hint of some melon, you know, and a little bit of the pineapple quality, but um, it's more of a blended tropical fruit salad, like you said. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it literally is. There's no distinct flavor just popping out. It's just a nice, smooth, delicious blend. It's and like, for me, not so much the mango, really. Yeah, no. No, I, w I would go more towards uh, a soft melon. Um, more like one that was picked right before it was completely ripe. Where it's like, it's sweet, but it's not all there. It's got a little tang. A little kick. Yeah. Yeah. But not in a bad way. Let's yeah, just, no. let's, It's in a good way. <laughs> All right, we'll come back with some numbers in a minute. This is a beautiful beer. Well, the dog's just hounding us. <laughs> he so, and is, he knows good beer. <laughs> yes, he has been on top of this. <laughs> so this is going to be, honestly, another tough one to rate. And I, what I try to do is say, set aside all the other beers you know and just look at the scale. Because if a beer is really good, it deserves to be rated good. And if it's not so good, it deserves to be rated bad, regardless of other beers. IPA, what you think? All right, so I'm going to be nice to Great Notion because they're all about the hazy IPAs. Sure. Which, you know, let's specify between that. New England is hazy, but it's East Coast and not as bitter, and it's, you know, smoother. A hazy is a West Coast thing, and it's got hop galore, which I love. Uh, if you guys disagree, write in and tell us how you feel about the tell description him. should be. I'm dead set on this though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so IPA, um, geez, this is, mm. yeah, Rusty agrees, this is a 95. This is really good. <laughs> it's, it's just satisfactory across the board. It's it's clean and crisp on the tongue, yet it's also light and fluffy because of the the, the hops. It, whatever they did with having dry hopped it or whatever, but they filtered it great. Uh, delicious. I, I freaking don't agree with them. In terms of what he's calling the styles. <laughs> That's my idea. <laughs> because, you know... I have to go back to my earlier, my first time trying a, what I call the early NEIPA, Hetty Topper. Hetty Topper to me was the, our first move into experiencing what would be like an NEIPA. And that was just Skittles popping in your mouth with well, yeah. flavors. All right, so, so yes, the West Side was known for all the fruit and tropical and stuff. That was that was uh, West Coast IPAs. But when New England IPAs came in, it changed things. We just can't make a claim to being New England, so we have to call them hazy IPAs. Terminology, and, and you know, and it's a fight between the West and the East. All right. Now, as far as the beer goes, and 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 the the rating on the beer, he's he's absolutely right. This is a 95. <laughs> Bam! He had it right. But the big question now comes to overall. Now this is a double IPA. You know I like double IPAs. They put a smile on my face and mine is gone. This is a, a 94 all overall for me. It's still fantastic beer. Yeah, I'm going to stick with you right there. 94. It's a good beer overall. Better for... Uh, you know, on the IPA scale for me, but 94 is So here it is again. It is super ripe from Great Notion. You can see our favorite little pirate squishing fruit and dropping it all over the place. It truly is uh, 
some pretty fresh, delicious, uh, fruity beer. This is Kevin. And this is Christian. From Clement's Homebrew saying, life is too short to drink cheap beer. And we will see you on the next beer review.